Hey everybody, Brian America Pool and Spa. Yeah, we're just going to the side. Um, the other ones, you know what I'm saying? Skip this one. So, I'm putting your springs and spring socks on your cover. And when you're doing this, it's kind of important that each one of these all the way around the pool are the same length. That way when we go out and measure out and start drilling our holes for our anchors to put in the concrete, each spring pulls the exact same amount of cover towards each anchor. That way you don't have 10 inches of cover over there and no inches of cover over here. So what I like to do is I like to take the spring and use the spring as my measuring tape. I go to the end and then to the end. I pull my buckle back a little bit. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Put the strap through. Like I was saying, make sure it's on the end, pull it tight. Feed it through, pull it tight, fold it back. It's ready to go. So as you can see, there's sandbags all the way around the pool. Those sandbags hold the cover back for us. We'll make sure that we have 10 inches of cover on each side, this particular cover on each side and we'll have 10 inches back and forth and what we'll do is we'll use sandbags to hold it in place for us and keep it all where it belongs and then what happens is we'll pick like on this pool we'll start right here on the center strap and that'll pick the cover up for us and then we'll find a center strap on the, on the width wise and it'll pick the cover up for us and then we'll start working our way out the reason you work your way out from the centers out is so that way you push all your slack away from you. You don't want to work from the center in or outside in and put your slack on the inside and then you'll have a giant wrinkle. When you're doing one of these covers, the key is to get it as flat as you possibly can. So after you go ahead and find your center lines and you work your way out from the center and you get the cover all set where you wanted, like I was saying, your measurements are the same on all four sides. Then you'll come over here and you'll drill a hole and each one of these straps that you see around this pool will have its own individual hole. We'll put in an anchor, and the anchor will go down with a little screw sticking out. That little screw will actually hold this spring back. So that anchor will sit right here. We'll pull the cover tight and pull it to it. It'll be unscrewed during the winter to hold this cover on, and then come spring when we open it, it'll screw right back in flush with the deck, no trip hazard. So after we get done doing this whole entire cover, everything will be nice and tight. My buddy John here is going to test the tension and make sure it's safe. Hey guys, <laughs> John with American Pool and Spa. We just finished uh, installing this pool cover on this uh, pool that we built just this year. Last phase of the closing. This is a mesh. They also come in solid, which offers a few different advantages, such as it blocks out the light, helps uh, retard the algae process and allows your pool to open up just about as clean as you opened it. However, this mesh is nothing to shake a stick at either. It provides safety. Once your pool is closed, this will make sure that nothing and nobody has the opportunity to drown your pool. Check this out. Yeah! So until next time, have a good time.